these are two games that are similar to each other, yet when you ask two people why they prefer one over the other, it can oftentimes lead to arguments similar to how I'd ask if Battlefield or COD was better back in year five. But now, really the consensus is both of these games are bad, but when we look at Project Reality, it seems to have aged like fine wine and only gotten better and better with so much content that keeps it feeling fresh, and this is all done through the sweat and tears of the developers. I wouldn't say tears since they're actually very passionate about it, and they haven't even asked for a single cent. But Squad, on the other hand, is a paid product, and you'll find Project Reality veterans criticize Squad, while newer players in the tactical shooter genre might not give Project Reality a second look. I say this with first-hand experience as I got my buddy to try both, and whenever I try to convince him to play Project Reality, he bitches and moans like it's the most painful thing in the world. But I want to list off some of the differences in both games and talk about why they're both great, followed up with gameplay of me trying to manage 300 ping in Project Reality and trying not to be a detriment to my team. Be careful, be careful. I fucked it, I fucked it, I fucked it, I fucked it. Run, run and also some close quarter intense gameplay in Squad. Now, it's no lie that Project Reality is very old. Running on the good old Battlefield 2 game engine, it's amazing the amount of content and new mechanics they've managed to squeeze out of it, but from a mechanical perspective, it has jank and doesn't have some of the features that Squad has, such as free aim and the ability to actually climb over a little ledge. This made me realize I took some of these features for granted, because trying to jump over a little fence in Project Reality with 300 ping gives me intense pain. But obviously Unreal Engine 4 means sexier graphics, more fluid animations, it's easier to move and control the character, and this can lead to more atmospheric experiences, as you have moments of bombs raining down, and you look left and right and only see bodies. However, talking about the atmosphere, the one area I've always said that Project Reality reigns supreme in is the sound design. It can make you absolutely shit your pants. The sound of a toe whizzing over your head. <laughs> the sound of explosions and jets flying over. Project Reality really reigns supreme in this area of making a foot soldier feel absolutely helpless against mechanical beasts on land and in the sky. It's evident by the times I've had tanks just roll through a rally points, and due to the class system, it does cause you to be extremely helpless against it unless you get access to a hat class. Speaking of classes, the way they work between them is pretty different. For both games, depending on how many people you have in a squad, determines what you have access to, and in squad you can switch to any of the specialist roles in the spawn screen and resupply your ammo at an ammo crate. If there's a tank causing trouble, just switch to hat or berate the lone wolf who took it and is two points behind the rest of the squad so you can deal with it. But the thing is, if you swing and a miss at the tank and it claps you, just respawn and resupply and you can do it again. Pretty forgiving, but in Project Reality they want to emphasize the importance of specialist roles by making you need to interact with a supply crate to switch to it. And there's a couple of cool unique roles in Project Reality, such as the anti-personnel rifleman, marksman, and sniper, and I had to google what the difference was, and even an anti-air class, and let me tell you it's absolutely hilarious watching a Taliban soldier send a stinger towards a helicopter. Not funny for the Americans or the Soviets, well, especially the Soviets, but the next thing I want to mention is, do you value your life? The average Sunday nights might make doctors and psychiatrists question whether I do, but between these two games, Project Reality definitely makes you value your life more, and I find myself playing more cautiously. Sure, you could say I play like that because of the subpar ping, and me expecting the enemy to play like they have 15,000 hours, and did a tour in Iraq, and is applying real military tactics. But in Project Reality, heaven forbid, you 
you get shot or anything explodes near you because in squad you take a 762 grenade shrapnel whatever you just bandage yourself and you can still function but in PR you can bandage yourself but this might not stop the bleeding you can scavenge for more bandages by picking up kits dropped by your friendlies or the most sensible thing to do is find a medic who can restore you back to full health if there are no medics nearby well that might be because you strayed too far away from them and you might end up not being able to get bandaged another cool little feature is that in project reality once you get revived and you look at the map which is what I usually do in squad to get my bearings you don't have that in PR because it tries to give you this disorientating factor and what you should be focusing on in the moment is just trying to cover that medic and not worrying about what else is going on in your vicinity but the thing is these are both great games I play squad if I want something more modern and isn't too intense whereas I play project reality to get fucked by vehicles okay that was a joke but truthfully I play it for a more serious experience since the people that are left playing it are truly dedicated to the game and you can feel a much more immersive experience since a lot more people talk and it's a lot more serious in nature and whether you enjoy that really that's up to you to try since project reality is free download it you try it you might not like it just uninstall it really have nothing to lose now I need to mention the difficulty of finding a good server in project reality because in my experience let's say it's three o'clock in the afternoon I want to hop on and play and there will be a couple of servers that are populated but the big issue is the language barrier because a lot of them have let's say Russian speakers or South American speakers which is Portuguese or Spanish and a lot of older project reality players are overjoyed by this but I don't think the hog server is a thing anymore and there's a whole backstory and lore that goes into it that I don't even know the full extent of it they were not a liked server the bad thing about them leaving is that I don't have a decent server under 300 ping they were around 200 to 250 for me so now I have to play on sometimes the Russian server and no clue just absolutely no clue you could have someone speak in Bulgarian, Belarusian, Lithuanian, Russian. I cannot tell the difference. I just say thank you in Russian when someone revives me. And if someone says something about like like a little keyword that I can identify, like, oh, do I speak Russian? I just say, yet. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they just say, oh, oh, okay. But obviously you can still find and join games with plenty of English speakers. But obviously, depending on where you are in the world, then it can sort of have an influence on that, unfortunately. But now we'll move on onto the gameplay portion of the video and I do hope you enjoy it and if you don't like and subscribe then you're gonna have to deal with my colleague because he'll be having a word with you but in all seriousness let's get into it. What I'm playing is the US Marines and no I don't eat crayons. I did swallow a marble as a child though so maybe the Marines is a good fit for me. We are playing against the Turkish and while they do get 762 I'm just more fearful of that bloody grenade launcher that they get. I don't know what's happened in this universe's law that has the US going against Turkey but I'm all for it. Got one, got two, got three. That's the most kills I've ever gotten any squad game. <laughs> Alright, you beat my record. Let's see if I can go even more. Come on, peek out, peek out, peek out. I just hope my gun barrel isn't sticking out too much, so... And I wish it had what RS2 has, where I can switch between this and... Uh, well, not Ironside, but what Six Days in Fallujah has, where I can see over the scope. That would be so much helpful right now. Automatic grenade launcher. Can I snipe his hand? I cannot. But I think that might have spooked him. Got him. That was... That was pretty embarrassing. But I got the kill, eh? Oh no. Yeah, they must know I'm in here. I just don't want to get clapped from the side. So I'm going to try and hang a little bit back as I peek around this corner. Got him. Honestly, just taking the assault rifle would have been much better on a map like this. 
I do regret my decision, but this is the infantry combat overhaul, so we can't aim for shit. That's right, you can throw grenades at me, buddy. Got my tricks. Yeah, I mean, you can try, buddy. Hopefully he thinks I'm dead. And he'll rush me. Got my nifty little Beretta. Oh, they drove a vehicle up to here. Now, pistols are absolutely awful. Oh, ah, damn it. MG, 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 MG. Gonna return suppressing fire. <laughs> I like how I'm hitting the spawn somehow. Jesus Christ. I think our own friendly fired that grenade launcher. Yeah, near me. Oh. Jesus Christ! Honestly, my favorite thing about the overhaul is the fact that the enemies are much more inaccurate, but also the suppression, way more cinematic. Got him, got him! Oh shit. Jesus Christ, don't, don't drive back, don't drive back. Ah, god damn it. Oh, guy in the window, outside the doorway. I wanna try and knock out the... tracks on this thing. Yeah, I kind of deserve that. Oh my goodness. Surely. Yeah, you got more people coming towards you, medic. Just be careful. Yeah, gotta keep the medic. Oh, he's fine, actually. He's okay. Yeah, there's, there was a couple of them heading north. I knocked one down. Contact, dead in front. Good kill, good kill. Be careful uh, of the, uh... Quickly, uh oh. down a bit. Be, be careful of the tower. Yeah, this medic is our number one priority, okay? He's very important. We gotta keep him alive. Hold on, I'm just gonna shoot this cunt. Hold on. I don't know where he is, man. I'm just blind firing. Keep us high as well. Looks, uh, looks clear. Yeah, let's push it now. Let's go. The ladder, the ladder. The way right there too. A lot of top, nice here. Top the ladder. Alright boys, what's the situation? Two guys got killed right there in front Dead. of you. I don't have any frag. I don't have any frags. Push face into just in case they have any. I'm out of EpiPens. I think there's just one guy there at the top of the ladder uh, to camping. Hey, be careful, be careful, be careful. Saw something drop down. Yeah, he's, he's um, on the ledge, top of the ladder. You missed, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm dead here. Uh, can you watch that top? I'm gonna move up. Yeah, he's still up there, so I'm clip through the wall. I'll watch. Got him. Which kill, good kill. Uh, keep uh one of the guys in the tower has been neutralized. Grenade, 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 grenade. Shit, shit! <laughs> um, can you watch? I'll push up. Yep. 
a lot of guys already going to South Isla, so let's just keep Moss clean for now. Uh, I'm gonna try get a nade up. If I miss, just get ready to run. Yep. Somebody please get me up. Uh, yeah, alright. Going now. Nade's good, nade's good. I'm watching. Ah, uh, bad luck. Yep. Um, does anyone else have any nades? I'll watch if you try and throw because I got none. Uh, as soon as you can climb out, just keep an eye out. Frost looks clear. That's, that's a friendly. I think that's, ooh, I'm getting shot. There's an enemy in this staircase. Oh my God, that's an enemy. Fuck. Yeah, I've um, got eyes on him. He's prone. Nope, 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 no thanks. That was bad. That was bad. Yeah, I just lobbed the rocket at him. Don't know if that did anything. Yeah, that's how- the BMP2 is fucking sexy. That is a sexy vehicle. I love it in squad as well. Sleek, low profile, absolute Gatling gun. I think might be like Let's go. Protect the breacher. Good work, good work. Get it. Uh, get an Aiden. Get an Aiden. Window right there. Get an Aiden. Oh, top window. Be careful, be careful. I fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked it. Run, run, run. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh he's, oh, he's, he's, he's... Anyways, I'm going to end today's video there. If you did enjoy it, please do consider leaving a like, subscribing, and sharing the video with your friends. Also, click on the video that is on screen because I know you'll enjoy it. Anyways, my name is Tantu, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, there's no way. <laughs>